My name is Steinun Ir Einarsdóttir. I am the chair of the Women's Association of the Social Democrats and I'm also running for parliament. Yeah. And what is happening today? Women will be leaving their work at 2.38. I can see them coming. Yes, they're already here. They've been planning this actually only for two weeks. Usually this has been months in planning. We had the report that the gender-based salary difference is still going up and it's not changing at all. And there was a lot of anger, so we decided, and they decided, to just go ahead and do this again. Done this Iceland. before, yes. Even in Iceland, yes, there's a big difference, isn't it? Even though we uh, have been reported to be one of the most equal countries in the world, this is still a problem here, and that tells us a lot about the whole world. Well, I came here for the elections, yeah. and, and I think that while everyone's reporting on the American elections, yeah. I think there's going to be a much more interesting result here in Iceland, yes. whatever the outcome. And you were talking about coalitions. Can, yeah. you, can you tell me something yes, about Yes, we that? have quite an exciting uh, change in politics happening right now because uh, the Pirate Party is very big and it's bigger than anyone could have imagined it to be. And even uh, I met some tourists and they were just, is this the same Pirate Party? Why are they so big? And I think it's because of the corruption cases first of all that we have had and they have been very outspoken about corruption and that they want the change and there are also a new party and people want a, a change and it's a clear statement from the the Icelandic nation that we want some kind of a change and then uh, since I'm with the Social Democrats we want there to be a different government now we don't want there to be the old government that we've seen now for three and a half years and and the gender-based salaries is there's nothing been done about it we did a lot when we were in government and so there is a discussion on uh, some kind of a coalition with uh, four parties, the Pirate Party, the Social Democrats, the Left uh, Green and a uh, new party that came into the parliament last, uh, after the last election. Yeah. yeah. So this could go any way? Yeah, it could go any way. Of course, everyone has... There's a main has, idea to yeah. get rid of the current government. Yes. Is that the, the thing? Yes, uh, that is. Uh, <clears throat> there is uh, also... Well, one of, uh, there are a few reasons for this. One of them is that we believe there is a, uh, there's an outcry from the nation that everything is more open, that yeah. you cannot just say that you're going to do something after the elections and then you go into coalition with another mm. party and then you just say, oh, then we can't do it because, mm. you know, we had to make um, some kind of agreement. Mm. So if we do this before the election, we can say, you know, what we can do and what we cannot do together. Because mm. we will, there will never be a one party government. It's never yes. been in Iceland and, and I don't think it's going to happen. Mm. So we're seeing that most likely there will have to be at least three parties in government now. That means that a lot of the promises made will have to be, you know, settled Adhered in to. some. Yes. Yeah. So because it's built on an agreement. Yeah, yeah it's an agreement. Oh, that's right. And speaking of openness, I just heard since I arrived last night that there are some people in your current government that still in there that were named in the Panama Papers. Yes, we do, and especially from the Independent Party, we still have the financial prime minister, and he's still the head of his party, and they still have uh, above 20 percent, so they will be in a leading position. And then we have also the uh, Minister of Internal Affairs mm. named there. Is it the same kind of uh, involvement, like uh, as Gunn Lagsen has said his name, and yeah. his wife? Well... <coughs> they, they had the banks... 
Yeah, well, owing them a lot of money, right? The states yeah. and those that was, banks. I think, most agree that uh, in Sigmund Davis' case uh, was the most, uh, the, it was the biggest case, you mm -hmm. know, it was the most of the money and it was the most recent. But still, you know, that you have a history of placing your money Yes. in this way and yes. still being a minister is just cannot be right. So is this coming out during the campaign? This information? Is it while it's fresh? Is well, no, no, reminded? no. Yeah, people are being reminded, but it seems like it's not really affecting the, mm. the polls. Mm. Um, not so much, actually. Mm. It's just sad and I, I don't have an explanation why mm. there isn't a, <clears throat> a bigger part of the nation that is furious about this but yeah. still still there is because the independent party has always been way bigger than 20 percent so they have mm. you know had to take some kind of responsibility but they not because they've they've taken responsibility mm. but they've been made to so can i party with you and Birgitta if it ends yeah. up being your yeah. party and the pirates <laughs> yeah also to be i i decided to come one week yeah. before and one week after yeah because i don't want to leave when all yeah. the fun starts <laughs> yeah no i'm not leaving yet <laughs> <laughs> and i can say it's a positive thing that now we're talking about the coalition can you translate it for me? I'm from Australia. Okay. Equal uh, pay right now. Other, other is just, it's just nonsense if you don't. Yeah. And this means if you get low salary, it equals low... Uh, Pension. 